The COVID-19 crisis is worse than it might otherwise have been if our governments had followed the instructions of experts based on the last two epidemics in Canada. During the 2009 H1N1 epidemic and the 2002 to 2003 SARS epidemic, health experts warned all levels of government about four major problems. First, lack of medical supplies and lack of protective equipment for healthcare workers. Second, hospital overcrowding. Hospitals didn't have the ability to take in a lot of new patients in a surge because of an epidemic. Three, lab testing. There wasn't enough and it wasn't being put out quickly enough, preventing uh, medical experts from tracking the virus. And fourth, a lack of coordination between um, the federal government, the provincial government, municipal governments, and the public health agencies. All of these things have been specifically cited in the COVID-19 pandemic we're facing now. All of them could have been prevented if governments had simply followed the advice of the experts they commissioned after 2009 and 2003 on how to alleviate the next crisis. Instead, we have we learned that millions of medical masks went beyond their expiration date because they were stored and nobody thought to say, well, we have to put these out to the hospitals and replace them. Nobody did that. Nobody looked seriously at the communication between the various levels of government. The federal health minister acknowledges that. Nobody looked at hospital overcrowding, which has been a problem in our system for decades. And that means when you get a sudden surge of patients, the emergency system is immediately overwhelmed. And of course, COVID-19 patients have to be isolated, which makes it even harder to accommodate them if the hospital is overcrowded. It's, it's incredible and it is unconscionable that more people are going to die in this crisis, more people are going to be hospitalized, more people are going to have to self isolate and quarantine because we didn't do what we were told to do. Our governments didn't do what we were told to do going back 17 years now. I'm Laurie Goldstein from the Toronto Sun. We want to hear your views and please follow us on Facebook and our YouTube channel.